You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <clears throat> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Last of Thor! Creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, old Elaine. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Shit, no! Father! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the Flaming Fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. 
Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. How close you are. Two hearts beating a perfect rhythm. But I know the truth. Only one face haunts your dreams each night. Close your eyes, sweetness, and she will come to you. So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the Bone Lord's throne. <laughs> Sniffing for our stones. Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. So, Orin is a shapeshifter. Better be extra vigilant. I'm ready. That's the best you can do. So weak. Gortash knows you are coming, knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. He will sniff out your mercies, drag them forth, and use them to dress his atrocities. <laughs> Remember? His throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's playing with us. But what the hells is her game? A bit of salt on the top, and... Oh, you're here! I'm not ready! I mean, I think I'm ready. I... I thought you'd be hungry, so I made this for you. My mum's favourite recipe. It's called Heap Gate Mess, a Baldur's Gate classic. My mum always used to make it for me. She used to change the recipe a lot, because she had to, um, borrow some of the ingredients. I put in some bits from your supplies. I hope you don't mind. I wanted to do something to show I was worth keeping around. I want to be your cook. You really mean it? I'll, I'll make you proud. I'll be the best cook you ever had. Do, do you want to try it?
See? It's good, right? You know why? Because I put in my secret ingredient. Want me to tell you what it is? You taste nothing out of the ordinary. The herbs and spices sold by any market trader. I put a special meat inside. <laughs> Such a sweet little kitten. Oh, how it screamed! you do? Spill the blood of such an innocent? You'll get your chance. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my netherstone you seek, little piggy? Or did the child's little pet leave you no appetite for the main cause? Do you not savor the slaughter of such innocence? Nothing! No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. <laughs> Kethrick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. The desiccated husk. All dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> against the tyrant's throat, of course. <laughs> Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. 
We slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and the child's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. <sighs> the promise of slaughter? Of pain and humiliation, and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city, and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen. Listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Huh? I smell it. Gortash's corpse stain. His killer approaches. See how good I was? How patient while you drained the tyrant's juices for me. But Saravok's crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Oh. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. A crypt born effigy to greet Baal's bleeding dawn. And now it will be nothing. Come to me, Father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose. Blood to blood, you have robbed another god of his chosen. <laughs> 